The National Weather Service and National Hurricane Center are forecasting the potential for Hurricane Hillary to impact central and southern California counties, including any area within Santa Barbara County. Moderate to heavy rain, strong winds, coastal storms, surges and erosion, and hazardous sea conditions are all possible. These conditions may start locally as early as Sunday afternoon, August the 20th. The National Weather Service has also issued a flood watch for the foothills above Santa Barbara, Montecito, Summerland and Carpinteria, Interior Mountains, and the eastern Santinez mountain range due to the potential for heavy rainfall from Hurricane Hillary. The flood watch is in effect from Sunday, August the 20th at 4pm through Monday, August the 21st at 10am. Yesterday, Ellen DeGeneres, who lives in the affluent town of Montecito, posted a video of raging floodwaters near her home, pleading with people to be nicer to Mother Nature. A source from Ryan Hall also reveals that Megan was caught leaving Montecito yesterday. It's unclear which shield she came to, but she was seen without her children. Some people suspected that she moved to a friend's home to shelter. Anyway, hope the shadow children of the Harkles will be safe. The starter mansion, Olive Garden, sits right in the path of a mudslide zone. The area was taken out by a major mudslide in 2018 that killed some of their neighbours, injured many others, and caused extensive property damage. The grifters probably don't have insurance to cover mudslide damage. Either insurance companies don't offer insurance for such a well-known high risk, or it's astronomically expensive. They might just lose their housing unit, but it's the kids' safety that's most worrisome. If the gossip's true that Harry hasn't been at the Olive Garden in a long time, He'll be safe riding it out in his separate luxury hotels. Maybe the kids could go home with the nanny's family so that Meghan and Harry won't have to be stuck with them during the storm. I hope Hillary doesn't land, wishing safety for everyone, even the Harkles. In other news, Meghan Markle is under fire for an ironic message she's set to deliver as she prepares to join Prince Harry at the Invictus Games. According to Prince Harry's biographer, Angela Levin, Megan is set to deliver a personal message to the wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women who will be competing at the event. Levin believes the Duchess will focus on a message of courage and resilience, something she said is ironic. Megan's going to be there at the Invictus Games, Levin said. She's going to speak to the veterans about courage and resilience. I thought that was quite ironic because she represents neither of those things. It comes after the Duke of Sussex gave fans a teaser of his upcoming Netflix documentary centred around the games. One notable absentee from the video was his wife, Meghan, but it remains unclear as to whether she'll be missing from the show itself. According to Levin, Harry came across more like his former self in the teaser for the upcoming series. 